been an incredibly cold week, like absolutely freezing. <laughs> but how nice is it to wake up and just see the magic that is a December frost? I think any way that you can find to romanticize it, enjoy it, embrace it if you can, I just think it feels so special and so magical. It is advent calendar time. We choose each other's advent calendars every year. So it's the 1st of December today. Obviously you guys are a week behind. This is the one that I've chosen for James, which is his absolute fave, hopefully. Did I get it right? Yeah, that's nice. Good. And James has got me a Maltesers truffles, which is literally the best. We're kind of just hoping that it's not a dark chocolate one on the 1st of December. Let me see if I can do it one-handed. I can't even get into it. Oh, thanks for holding the phone. Oh, there's like two layers. That's why. Is there two in there? No, 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 but there's oh. there's two layers of... Oh, I think it's a milk one. That's the best one. Oh, heaven. What did you get? Did you get a milk one? That is adorable. I'm actually kind of jealous. Do you want to swap? Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Good morning. Happy Saturday. I hope you are very well. I have just finished getting ready for the day and oh boy do we have a fun day planned it is actually not going to be a cozy day at home today but hopefully it's going to be a cozy day out instead because we have got some really really fun things planned i'm just feeling so christmasy today so it's currently what is the day today it's currently the 2nd of December and I've just finished getting ready. I've actually put foundation on today for the first time ever. Now it may or may not look like it. I might look exactly the same as I usually do because it was a really small layer of foundation that I put on. But I just made a little bit more of an effort today. I haven't done anything with my hair yet. I might just leave as it is to be honest. But it's a special day today because it is our annual Blenheim Palace Christmas trip. Now, if you haven't been to Blenheim Palace before or even been to Blenheim Palace at Christmas, it is magical. It is so festive and it's absolutely stunning. Every year from basically the end of November all the way to the end of December, as well as dressing up the inside of the house for Christmas, it always has a theme. So I think they've done Alice in Wonderland, um, A Christmas Carol, I think this year is Sleeping Beauty. They also have the most spectacular illuminated lights trail all through the gardens. And this trail is like a good hour of walking. Like it's a long trail and it is just stunning. So today is the day. It, this is like the start of Christmas for me. I think it's about minus two and it's going to pretty much stay that way all day. It is frozen outside. So I actually went and bought myself a coat the other day, which I'll show you a little bit later. I bought a few things actually, but yeah, I just figured going to Blenheim in minus two degrees, I'm kind of over the whole like look nice for a photo thing. And to be honest, I just want to be warm and I just want to be really comfortable. So I went into the nearest shop that I could find and I had an order to pick up from Next with some Christmas presents in. And whilst I was in there, I just spotted the nearest like black puffy long thick hooded coat that I could find and just picked it up and bought it so yeah I've tried it out this morning when we popped out and it is toasty I was in the car and I was like I'm so hot so that's a good thing because it means it's going to keep me warm outside so yeah I'm looking forward to taking you there today before we go so we're going out at about one o'clock two o'clock ish once my parcel gets delivered um, which I've been waiting for for a while. And we're actually gonna stop in Bista Village on the way. I have a feeling it's probably gonna be quite busy because it's a Saturday and it's the run up to Christmas, but we'll see how we get on. So yeah, it's gonna be a little trip to the Oxford region today into Bista Village and then over to Blenheim Palace. And then on the way home, we're gonna be picking up Ronnie and he's gonna be staying with us for a couple of nights. So could this day get any better, to be honest? I just can't wait. The thing I did want to show you is a parcel that has arrived from Abbott Lion, which is so exciting. Can I just say, 
this is some of the most beautiful gift wrap I have ever seen. Like this is stunning. Not only can you get a beautiful, beautiful gift box with the most gorgeous bow that you can actually take off and reuse for, you know, something else as well, but it's also personalized. And I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but the letters are actually like stuck on. They almost feel like metallic letters. So I thought I'd unbox it with you because I've had a sneak peek, but not a proper peek. And I thought I would show you. So you pull off the sleeve and you've got the Abbott Lion box underneath, which again is just absolutely beautiful. Lift up the lid. This is like past the parcel <laughs> into the next box. And then this in theory should hold, you guessed it, the next box. <laughs> so I chose something which is very on trend at the moment. And there is a very, very, very expensive jewellery brand which sells this type of jewellery. But Albert Lyon, amongst a few others, have created a really, really lovely cheaper but just as beautiful alternative that is also personalizable so as always you get your little jewelry polishing cloth and a bit of tissue wrap and then let me pull out this piece the piece i've chosen this month is this stunning clover personalized necklace now when i say personalized as well as choosing the letter that you want on the necklace you also get to choose the clover as well so i think there's three different types of clover that you can choose from. So yeah, I went for the single clover, but I think you can get something like one, two, three, four, or even five clovers. So you could get one that goes all the way around as well. Now I'm looking sideways because I'm looking in my reflection to admire the necklace, but how beautiful is this? What a lovely touch. I just, I really appreciate a gold necklace and I appreciate a personalized necklace, especially one as beautiful as this. So I went for a kind of pearl style clover charm, if you can see, and I absolutely love it. How beautiful. I have to show you guys as well, something which arrived, which I did buy in the Karen Millen sale and I popped it onto my Instagram story, but it is worthy of me telling you about it on here as well. I think there might be a few sizes left and it comes in a few different colors. Please ignore the Christmas present pile down in the corner. I don't know where else to put the Christmas present collection, which is rapidly growing. So for now, it is in the guest bedroom, but let me go and grab what I ordered. I think I found my Christmas dress. Christmas party dress, Christmas day dress. I am in love with this. I've very loosely done up the bow at the front, but I will pop a video on the screen of how this dress looks on because it is so flattering and it's so comfy and it is just the most beautiful green colour as well. So I think I got this eventually for like £33 or something, which is just ridiculous. Um, I haven't taken the tag off yet, but I'm definitely going to be keeping it. I got it in extra small and it's a lovely maxi length and it has, of course, a slit up the side as well, which is essential. I won one more dress recently. I just remembered that I haven't showed you. So this one is actually from Tesco. So it's a gorgeous kind of, how do I describe it? It's like a beigey oatmeal minky sort of color. It's, it's kind of, if you compare it to this beige, it's ever so slightly more pinky and oaty. Um, but it's this lovely, lovely knit dress from Tesco. Again, have I kept the label in? Yes, I have. <laughs> so it was £27.50, which I didn't think was too bad. And they always have 25% off offers as well. Mini slit at the bottom, of course. But this is really, really cosy. I don't know if I have a picture of this on. It is slightly shorter than I would typically get. But I think, again, with some tights and with some boots, you can make it work. I would wear this to Blenheim today if it was going to keep me warm enough. But I just think I can't risk it with tights. I need, like, a solid <laughs> leg covering to keep me warm. But yeah, that's in Tesco at the moment. And it's new in, so you should still be able to find it. Okay, we are pretty much ready to go. I have tried to match up the accessories as best I can. I only have a pink hat. I feel like I need to get like a white hat or a neutral colored hat because it doesn't match any of my other scarves. So I've got my gloves. I've just got a quite a light scarf because actually once my coat's done up, it's gonna be like this and 
I don't know, big scarves sometimes get in the way. I've got my pink hat, which I'm not going to put on just yet because I don't need it until later this evening. And then this is a coat that I mentioned earlier, um, which, oh, it has a zip there. I suppose that's a hood. That's quite clever. <laughs> it's basically a super warm. It's got like a thick lining in here and then inside the sleeves is like a fur lining. But basically it is a nice length to keep you warm. It's got pockets, which are also fleece lined pockets as well. And it's nice and cozy. You know, it's not like the most glamorous coat you've ever seen in your entire life but I still think it's quite nice actually with a nice pair of boots you can make it work quite well jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way oh what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh jingle bells jingle bells jingle we are here <gasps> oh my gosh i'm so excited i have waited all year well i wait all year every year <gasps> the nutcrackers i don't even think you can see me very well but we are literally just driving in it is so foggy but it's been foggy all day Walking in a winter wonderland. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'll get copyright. <laughs> Is that your way of saying we're singing so good that they're going to think it's the actual singer? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cold. My favourite stall, the churros. This is also a yearly tradition. up the little fluff ball we had the absolute best time i can't even tell you how cold it was i was very very thankful for this coat honestly i don't know what i would have done without it note for next time wear a third pair of socks which are very thick because my feet were absolutely freezing both very much looking forward to tucking ourselves up in bed and I'm looking forward to some puppy snuggles as well. Now, I'm pretty sure you can't see me, so I think we will catch up again tomorrow morning once we're awake and have a bit more energy. Good night. <laughs> Good morning. You haven't sniffed in this room since you arrived last night. I have just got myself out of bed, made myself a cup of tea, which I'm very much looking forward to drinking. We have had our advent calendars. Actually, Ronnie hasn't had his because he's just had his breakfast. <laughs> but I've had my advent calendar and he'll be getting his very soon once his breakfast has gone down. What can you smell? Come on, come and give me a hug. You need to be my hot water bottle today because it is absolutely 
freezing outside. <laughs> it's not quite as frosty as it was yesterday, but it is still absolutely freezing. So I'm going to curl up for a while before James gets out of bed and catch up on some YouTube before we get ready for the day. I think today's task, as long as it doesn't start raining, is to put some Christmas lights up outside the house. It has been a very muddy and wet walk, so it's bath time, isn't it? Are we gonna give you a bath? Let's get you nice and clean. In your advent calendar. We need to find number three. Sit down on your bottom. Sit down on your bottom. Let's have a look for number three. Now this to me looks like a turkey and stuffing meatball. <laughs> wow. Wow. Give me paw. Yeah. Does it smell good? Go on then. <gasps> Yummy! So I have just finished, I don't know how well you'll be able to see, we've just finished putting the lights around the house. So these are only lights, I'll link them down below. I think you can get them on Amazon and they're quite well priced as well. <laughs> Hello me in the window. <laughs> it's weird, I can see myself in the window and then I can also see myself in the mirror in the kitchen. So I think there's about three of me. And then we've also run them along here and down the drain as well. So once it gets dark and the snowman will be on as well it is going to look really lovely you get a special remote there as well so there's i think eight different settings there's a timer which is really useful because i always put the lights on and i forget to turn them off so i can set them for six hours or eight hours um, and then they will just go off by themselves as well and you can adjust the brightness they're actually used indoors and outdoors i think so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing what they look like in the dark this is my little snowman that I got from the Idle Home Show last week as well. He is battery powered, so he doesn't have a remote and he doesn't have a timer, unfortunately. So I do have to remember to turn him off, but he is adorable. And it was like 12 pounds or something crazy. I forgot to tell you that I bought him. I told you what I bought, didn't I? And I completely missed him out. How could I miss out the snowman? So yeah, he was such a bargain, only 12 pounds. And he looks really pretty at night as well. I'm going to pop the remote down on the side ready for when we do those later james is doing the all important job of making roast dinner we're going to have what's the time 10 to 2 we're going to have like a mid-afternoon roast today is it chicken yeah chicken. chicken we've got a big chicken in the oven and we always have the leftovers for lunch the next day as well and then we've got stuffing we've got carrots we've got what else yorkshire puddings broccoli we have everything obviously gravy as well so i am very much looking forward to that and so is ronnie what are you sniffing under the fridge it's the yummy looking food oh my gosh <gasps> it looks delicious <laughs> peter pan why do you look like peter pan <laughs> what with the short trousers with the little tights <laughs> I'm surprised that you actually knew what Peter Pan was. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I cannot wait for this. I am very lucky to have a man like you. Mmm, delish. Shall we go and cosy up on the sofa and watch some more YouTube? Yeah, this is my little display on the stairs. I can't remember if I showed you. I got a really nice bouquet sent to me by a lovely, lovely lady who's opened a small business. I will tag it down below because she is so wonderful. And I actually stuck one of my little festive branches in amongst it as well. And I think it's such a nice little Christmassy touch. But then obviously if you take the branch out, it would work all year round as well because you can make it look quite summery. And then of course my snow man it's my little stair display so i'm gonna leave my coat there for when i go back out and have a look at the lights um when it's dark outside i have got parcels just about everywhere i picked up some more bags of these for my mum because i think she's going to use them in some stocking fillers the sound is the washing machine on it is just kind of 
chaos in here at the moment but yeah I can't actually open these Neptune boxes as much as I want to they are some Christmas presents that I've chosen from my mum so I need to resist them give them to my mum and then I get to open them on Christmas day I have a cozy setup going on in the living room I've actually left the throw like this because I knew Ronnie was going to be in here when James and I were out the front putting the lights up and I didn't want him putting his muddy paws on the sofa speak of the little devil i don't know if i showed you guys the handles actually on the doors so we managed to get them on and they're looking absolutely lovely they actually are the perfect size and we decided to pop them into the middle which i think was the perfect idea and i love them they are really really lovely so now i can officially say that the media unit is finally finished so yeah thank you so much for your lovely words about it i've been reading through your comments this morning on my video on my instagram as well and i did put it on my tiktok um and yeah you've had some really nice things to say about it which is amazing so i really appreciate it i'm honestly so happy parcel on the front doorstep and I had to show you what was inside because I have just tried this on and it is so cosy and so comfy. So I spotted this on Marks and Spencers actually. It's part of the autograph collection that I think Rosie someone, I can't remember her name, but it's like Rosie for autograph. And this is basically a super soft kind of fleecy material loungewear set. The top and the bottoms come separately. The bottoms are high-waisted. They fit absolutely perfectly. You get pockets at the back as well. I think the back looks lovely. And then they are also, if you can see from down here, um, like a wide leg fit as well. So they are just the ultimate cosy and then yeah you get the v-neck top you've got rolled cuff sleeves it also has a little slit to either side and i just think it is so gorgeous it's such a lovely color if i come and show you a little bit closer just look at the texture of this look how cozy it is i love this i did also hopefully you can see find a little bow to go at the top of the Christmas tree as well. I am still on the hunt for a nice star, but in the meantime, I thought I'll use this little gold bow, which I actually bought to do some styling for another piece of content for an Instagram ad that I'm doing. But yeah, I thought it can also make a nice little tree topper. So I've tied it to the top of this tree and I think it looks quite cute. I've also had a little gift from James which is adorable. He picked it up for me the other day whilst he was in London and he just came and brought it to me as a surprise and it is the sweetest thing ever. Apparently he was basically walking through London and he spotted something in the window of H&M Home that apparently reminded him of me and he had to go in and find it and apparently it was the last one in the shop as well. I haven't even seen this online but he has picked up for me this adorable little little vase I love the shape of it at the top and it's the perfect size as well to style on our media unit which is apparently exactly what his thoughts were behind it if I show you the texture up close as well it's a really nice kind of stone effect rustic effect vase so you could just keep it on its own as an ornament you could put some flowers in it some stems in it 
pretty much anything in it to be honest but yeah how lovely is that that was very kind of him i love a little surprise so i'll see if i can find this online i mean i haven't scrolled h m that much recently so maybe i'm just missing out a bit on some nice homeware that they've got in um, but if i do find it online i will share it with you oh a few hours have passed and the lights are on I've put them on this like twinkly wavy setting because I think it looks really beautiful and look at the snowman! Excuse the very muddy floor, that is from our walk earlier. They are twinkling away. I actually love that we put them all the way around the window as well, I think it looks fab. Oh it's so magical! I'm so pleased we've got these up. 